Okay, so if you haven't been seeing what's going on on Twitter, we all know that Elon Musk is starting to spread around and it's really stinking in the platform. And not only that, Big Daddy is starting to literally fire or lay off many employees that have been working there for many years. Big Daddy Musk wants us to pay $8 a month just to have the blue verification mark, completely removing the entire meaning of that blue verification mark. Imagine this, you are working at a job you really, really love, and then all of a sudden you just get laid off for no reason. We all know that Big Daddy does not like anybody working in Twitter that is, well, against his views. But the more I start talking about the musky bird that is Twitter, there's another alternative that I've been using for years, well, I've stopped using and then come back to using for years, and that is going to be Mastodon. Mastodon is completely open source, meaning the code is not controlled by anyone, anybody could fork the code, anybody could copy the code, and they can make their own modifications. If the code is completely open, you're probably looking at me like this is the worst security flaw that you could ever have in a platform. But, having open source code is actually really good for society as a whole. There is no algorithms baked into this thing. So therefore, your mental health is not going to go down and fucking kill itself. We know why that's a good thing, and this is something that humanity doesn't want. And if the code is open, and anybody can work on it, humanity is not going to create something that kills humanity. But instead of preaching about how this is better for mental health, how about I tell you the top three reasons why Mastodon is so much better than Twitter. Well, the first reason is obviously going to be there is no algorithm, so therefore there are no ads and everything is in chronological order. When everything is in chronological order, that means the feed is literally in an order that is based by the most recent. Social media companies have been pushing more and more of their algorithms lately where they push the most grotesque and controversial content down your throat. This is to increase their revenue. This is to increase their profit. Because yes, more clicks, more likes, more engagement is going to give them more profit. Engagement is not a bad thing, but glorifying the engagement of very bad things that are happening around the world is going to make people think negatively all the time. Having that granular control of what you're able to see in your feed is going to help you sleep at night, and you're able to discover things that are less, well, popular in the first place. Allowing other creators to shine in the platform, those who may not have as much clout as the other. Reason 2 is going to be that you are able to host your own instances. Now, you're probably wondering what an instance is, and well, it is basically a server in the whole Mastodon network. An easier way of explaining it is a lot like email. You have two email providers, you have Gmail and you have Yahoo. It would be very stupid to not be able to communicate from your Gmail to a Yahoo user. This is the same thing with Mastodon instances. You can join other social networks inside of a giant social network and communicate with each other based on different Mastodon-based platforms. This allows for more user choice. Choice. If you want to be able to own your data, then so be it. Host your own instance and keep it to yourself. But if you feel like your data is more trusted in another hands of another user, well, you can put your data there. You can create an account on any instance and they're able to federate with the others. One side note is that, well, if you want to federate with every other instance, well, you have to find another instance because some of them may block other instances. Then again, it gives you more user choice so you're able to cut off anything you don't like. If you don't like an instance, if you don't like its rules, hop into another instance. It's fine. Another reason is going to be that moderation is more effective. You're able to block trolls more effectively than going on Twitter and begging to the lords to do it. So that way, you can get all of those trolls out of the way, and you can actually get to more genuine conversations. It feels a lot like virtual reality. Even though there's trolls on virtual reality, you have the ability to block them. In most metaverses, that is. Like, well, VR chat and chill out VR. But you get my point. Like, you have the power to block entire communities from communicating with your instance. Even though Elon Musk bought this platform, I don't know if I can really trust him or any CEO for that matter. Any CEO is going to feel more profit driven, so therefore, anything you say that goes against their profits, they may just censor you anyways. They don't fucking care. If you actually think about it, I know if instances are able to block each other, it may create echo chambers, which may become an issue. But at the end of the day, if you have full control of your instance, you should have the right, you should have the ability to cover your ears and go blah 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 blah, I don't want to listen to you. Right? And basically blocking other instances is a way of doing this. 
instances are kind of like their own little tribes that are communicating with all the other tribes around the world. So my final thought about all of this is the fact that not Mastodon rules and it's the best thing in the world, but it could be something you can look towards to maybe use as an alternative or to completely replace Twitter altogether. But the more and more it exists in our society, the more it seems to be a replacement. I mean, come on. It literally has open web standards built into it. Wouldn't you want open web standards just like the shit we had a long time ago? Wouldn't you? The internet is becoming more and more centralized. And more and more of that centralization just creates way more problems. If we have more and more centralization, you have more censorship. If you have more and more centralization, you have more control with a few people, and that is just not fair. This is our internet, and we should be able to get up and control our internet ourselves, right? But anyways, what do you think about Mastodon? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And as always, subscribe.